Everyone inspires to achieve something great. Just when you never expected anything, something manifests itself into existence. He gave me a task greater than even myself. I'll always be grateful for what he taught me about the world, but most importantly what he taught me about myself. Who are you? It troubles me to see you still searching for a meaning of your existence, Kibo. What type of fish can speak? You have yet to find your true calling in life. It bothers me to see you with so much potential in search of something great, but unable to find exactly what it is you're looking for. What do you know about worthiness in life? I know many things, Kibo. You speak as if you know me. I've been watching you for some time. I've wondered if you were worthy of this gift that I am contemplating giving you. What gift do you speak of? A gift with the ability to change the world. Who are you? I am Unagi, a mere forgotten conservator of Lucir. A conservator? As in a protector of sorts? I am Unagi. Long ago, myself and the other conservators protected Lucir from the threats that existed. We were many. Protectors who inscribed the kings with their abilities to rule with impunity and bestow our knowledge and principles amongst the populace. I could no longer sit idly by and watch as Lucier is eradicated. The time has come for the world to heal, but this time I cannot do it alone. Tell me more. The world is not the same as it used to be. Ourselves and the kings worked together in harmony and achieved a great many things. Most importantly, there was prosperity in Lucir. Dolan, Naki, and Hiwo met their demise at the hands of the kings. With me and my other companion remaining, we decided to return to our world. How long have you been away? We traveled distantly and returned to our world. The Council of Eels disbanded, and our influence no longer heeded upon, we forsake Lucier. Two kings survived the conflict that saw the death of three of our own, and so a new cycle of rule began. You said you cannot change the world alone. What army will you enlist to bring back the prosperity that once was? The individual who will bring an end to this age is you. You will be the one who will save Lucier from ashes. You must bring unity to Lucier. Through a collective effort, the kings will fall. You claim me as the savior, but I do not. I've never engaged in combat, nor do I have the skill set or tactics to achieve such means. You are surely mistaken. You will fight to restore order to the world. Why should I fight for you? Aren't you looking for purpose in your life? Something greater than even yourself? I am looking for a peaceful life. You can achieve that by restoring order to the world. Your influence will spread across the lands, and you will be hailed as a hero. Why should I sacrifice myself? 
I believe in you, Kibo. I have been observing you all this time, wondering if you were worthy of such a task. This is no simple mission, and must not be treated as such. You must understand that this world is full of enemies. There are no ordinary opponents. You must be prepared for this journey. Why should I take orders from you? You're merely a creature of the sea. I know how you feel, Kibo. For years you've wandered, searching for something in life, but unable to find that purpose. This gift will change you entirely, and may even twist your desires. But I believe you will prosper with your wisdom beyond your years. You will be the one to finally conquer these subjects that have been appointed as kings. What is this? This will aid you in your journey. I can feel this energy flowing throughout my body. Unagi. This is the blade familiarizing itself with you. When does this begin? Kibo, it's already begun. I will fight for you, Unagi. I will restore order to Lucir. There have been many atrocities since I have been away. It saddens me to see the state of Lucir. I can no longer watch as this continues. You will discover yourself and bring the peace that Lucir so deeply needs. The time has come for a savior to rise. Carry on now, Kibo. I won't fail you, Unagi. Prepare to meet your death, assassin. I believe you have me mistaken for another individual. You are no assassin. 
Oh my. Pardon my behavior, young sir. What uttered the notion that I may have been an assassin? I'm afraid I am the one who has enemies. You see, I served under King Taiyo, and I escaped his threshold. It did not come easy, I'm afraid. Ever since I left, I've heard stories of how an assassin or a group of assassins would arrive to take my life. You need not worry. Nothing of that will occur. Where might you be heading? To confront King Teo. You must be prepared for your journey. Perhaps I can be of assistance. How so? I happen to be in supply of some wares. That is, if you carry the coin. Who are you? I am Midori. I live here in Ida. Yourself? Kibo, why do you live in a land inhabited by these atrocities? Your questions come to me as a surprise. What atrocities do you speak of? But everyone calls home to different lands in the world. This is where I proudly call my home. With the campaigns of the kings, we have different inhabitants of Ida. It's changed much since I arrived, but I wouldn't call these inhabitants atrocities. Oh, no. You claimed to be in possession of valuable wares? What exactly are you looking for? That's of no concern to you. Interesting. A settlement towards the end of Ida Marshlands. It was built over ten years ago. Who might you be? Please leave me. 
I wish for no further discussion. became much more. From him came a savior. <laughs> 